Exactly. Uh, speaking of horrible, new Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg defending his far-left policies, which seek to stop prosecuting certain crimes and reduce jail times for criminals. Listen. These policies give criminals a green light. No. I mean, it, 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 it just depends upon your definition of a criminal. I challenge anyone to suggest what's going on right now is working. We've laid out a path that is going to reduce incarceration, reduce violent crime, give people services, make neighborhoods uh, safer. Here to react, David Webb, Fox News contributor and host of Reality Check with David Webb on Fox Nation. Reality Check for that DA, David, a criminal who is someone who commits a crime, any crime. How outrageous is it that that DA can't admit that? Well, it's actually more than outrageous. It's a roadmap for criminals. Now, Todd, coincidentally, Rudy Giuliani and I, a man who knows a little bit about bringing New York back from the brink of fear city, if those of you who remember that manual that was put out, you flew into LaGuardia, you got a fear city manual, you should look it up on the web. We had a conversation about this right after New Year's. And on day three, he issues this day one memo that gives a roadmap to criminals that outlines, it's being read by criminals, Criminals, not just law-abiding people like you and me. And that memo outlines what you can and can't get away with clearly. It opens the door for more criminality. And I decided to check in with some of the precinct-level guys out there, people who actually work the streets, and they confirm this. The criminals know now what they can't do. But you know who pays the price? The bodega, the mom and pop, the visitor to New York. Overall, New York City will continue to pay the price for Alvin Bragg's memo and Alvin Bragg's political intention, which is to empower criminals rather than to put criminals away and have fair policing practices that protect the community. Quickly, before we get to Kamala Harris, will Mayor Eric Adams rein this guy in? No. I have been warning people about Eric Adams since day one. He is not who he purports to be, the former police officer, law and order candidate. Look at his mandates. Look at what he believes. He's a far left mayor. Wow, that is extremely concerning. This is beyond concerning. I I'm running out of words to describe this. Vice President Harris making a comparison between January 6th and the terror attacks on 9-11 and war, literally the start of our entrance into World War II. Take a listen. Certain dates echo throughout history. Dates that occupy not only a place on our calendars, but a place in our collective memory. December 7th, 1941. September 11th, 2001. And January 6th, 2021. Look, this isn't a radio talk show host. This isn't some bloviator on MSNBC. This is the vice president of the United States. How does she dishonor the victims of those two tragedies, those two most historic American tragedies like that, David? Because she's an incompetent leftist and she doesn't care. I've actually interviewed and know survivors of 19... September 7th, 1941, the attack on Pearl Harbor. I lost someone in every airplane, in every building, in the Pentagon on 9-11, as did many of the Americans. They are using fear, because the Democrats have nothing else to sell but fear. This whole January 6th memorializing is an attempt to enshrine this in American history as something else that it's not. Just like they try to rewrite American history, they'd like to rewrite current American history. And Yes, a terrible day, a riot that should never have happened. It helped ruin the—it uh, the, gave, gave the Democrats a weapon to use against America, not just Donald Trump. Get over Donald Trump, but Kamala Harris and the Democrats can't. They need fear. They give us fear city in New York. They sell fear and envy to Americans. And all you're doing if you're voting for them is voting for their power, not yours.